Hey guys, Indigo Priestess here. If you don't know who I am, I'm a spellcaster, life coach. I teach people how to invoke, evoke demons and all forms of entities. How to operate from your higher self. The list goes on. I'm also a certified clinical hypnotherapist. So I wanted to make this video because a lot of people don't understand the power of evil eye or the power that you give away when you post your whole life on social media. So before I dive into it, if you are someone that likes to post new things about your life and perhaps regularly you don't do your cleansings, you know, it's just like, oh, if I believe, you know, I'm protected. And you have certain physical issues, perhaps you know, severe anxiety. You're not sure why you're constantly depressed. You're not sure why you constantly, you have things happening in your life that is negative. You know, you constantly have anxiety, depression. You've been to doctors. You get physical ailments. Doctors can't find out what's wrong with you. Psychiatrists can't assist you. They think you're making it up in your head. You've been to all avenues to try and figure out what exactly is going on with you. If you are that person, okay, you've been to medical practitioners, you've done everything you can and you are still feeling the same, then I'd like you to just consider, I'm not saying that this is wrong with you, but consider cleansing yourself from evil eye. There are many ways that you can do this. What I'm doing now for you today is to help you do it yourself. Okay, if you find that you, even after you have done this method, you're still feeling some of that, you know, ailments, then that is when you're still holding on to the residual energy of what that mm. evil eye has brought into your life. There are methods and ways of getting uh, rid of residual energies. In the small cases, um, when this type of technique does not help you. And if you need help with that type of um, cases, which can be rare, all my information is in the description box below this video. So if you're finding like, you know, you just feel like this weight on your shoulders, no matter what you do, things, it's just not improving. You can feel something's wrong. You know, you don't know anyone in witchcraft, but you, you post a lot. You know, you want to ask yourself why some of these celebrities... You know, one minute they're here, the next they're gone. I won't go into it. Why, you know, some of them deal with certain types of issues. And I'm not saying it's all from evil eye. But, um, you know, in most cases, it is. So, I'm going to teach you guys a really quick method. What I want you to do is you can get any bowl. I like to use a white bowl of water. I don't like to use hot water. I make it room temperature. There are different methods like rice water and other herb um, spiritual baths that you can do. I'm just using water. Reason being is because water imprints all energy. You can literally make a printing and freeze it, okay, of a picture. That is how water imprints. So what I want you to do, this is just a tutorial. When you have your water in front of you, you're going to speak into this water. It's going to capture everything that you are trying to um, bring into your life. So when you go towards your water, you're going to just take your hands, rub it together, create friction, but put both of your feet down onto the ground and you're going to speak into the water. You're going to speak love, um, words of healing, words of prosperity, but predominantly words and power of, you know, you hold the power to heal me and remove all negativity, all negativity is removed from me. You're going to speak that into the water. You're going to bless your water. And by speaking it into the water, it will start to crystallize, not only within yourself, but within the bowl of water in front of you. Once you have done your specific prayers, you are then going to go to the shower, do your normal wash, and then take the bowl of water. And as you throw it over your head, you are going to say whatever it is you are removing over your life. If you feel that you still need guidance after a ritual like this, 
that's where I come in. That's where I come in to help you and guide you, maintain that, to maintain this energy, to maintain the healing and to remove residual energy if you still feel that is attached to you. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. You don't need to live a life of suffering. You have more power than what you think you have. And that is why I'm here. I'm here to tell you that you hold the power for great change in your life. So no matter what people say around you, the naysayers, I'm here to tell you that you're watching this video for a reason. Go and get your ass to the shower and go and cleanse yourself. Bye.